Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got a sweet idea for a sweet staircase, my friends. Let's get cracking. Of course, since it's in code blocks, let's click code blocks, click create new code block, and then make a brand new design. As we've learned before, we're going to name it. I'm going to name it stairs. Click to make it permanent, switch to modify, and we are going to create a new object called a single stair. Rename variable, type stair. Tell it OK. To make this show up on your screen, I'm going to hit plus and use the slider to move up so we can see it a little better. Let's go to shapes and we are going to add a box. Bring out its parameters and I'm going to tell you the numbers I want you to use. 20, make this one 5, and make this one 2. The first stair is always up in the air, so let's move this on Z. And I'm going to tell you that a good number to use is 5. If we hit play, you can see we've got an adorable little stair. I'm going to make it a brown color just because that's how I want my stairs to look. We're going to add a post for a rail as well. Go back to your shapes, bring out a cylinder, open its parameters. And I want you to simply change this to 1, and I want the height to be 15. We are going to use a move to nudge it out towards the edge of the post. When you bring in your move, we want to put the numbers 8 and 13. Let's zoom in a couple clicks out here, orbit so we can see, and when you hit play, check it out, we've got one sweet little stair. I am going to make this a brown color. I'm going to do a mixed color because I think it looks a little bit more interesting. We're going to make our staircase adjustable, so let's quickly add three variables. Switch to math and choose create variable and set it up top. And we need to rename that variable to height. And then make sure you always drag a new one out. Never duplicate these because it doesn't work. And we're going to rename the second variable to turn. This will be how much it rotates each time. And then we're going to make a third variable. I emphasize again, bring out another one. And we're going to rename this little guy as nudge. We're going to fill these with the number 3, 22.5, and 1. Let's move to the Modify Commands and create the new object we're going to call Staircase. When I rename it, I'm just going to do SC because that's a lot faster to type. We are going to use the Count With command and we're going to change it to 20. So there will be 20 stairs on our staircase. We're going to bring in the Add a Copy of a Stair and we get that from the data. Drop your stair in the block. And then we're going to find a move command in the modify. And we're going to fill it with those data pieces. So we're going to nudge it for X. We're going to nudge it for Y. Notice when you bring this down, you use the left edge to drop it in. And then the height is going to be here. So I just want to show you if you move underneath, you can see they light up when you're in the right spot. Now we need to rotate it, so let's move back to Modify, bring out that little Rotate command, make sure you change it to rotating around Z, because we want to twist around the Z axis. So we need to adjust the pivot because the stairs are going around the left edge. So let's move back to the math and put that axis number out here, and the left edge is negative 10. So put a negative 10 in here. And now we need to make the variables grow after each turn by putting a change item, including the turn number. And then remember, we were using 22.5. And then we need to bring out another change item, and we need to make the height grow. And we are going to make the height grow. And I'm going to tell you I want the height to be 5 apart. Alrighty, friends, so it's time for the moment of truth. Watch this. When you hit play, you have got an awesome spiral staircase. Now the most amazing thing about this is you can hit export and you can add it as a part so that we can actually use it in Tinkercad. 
I'm going to call it staircase. This time I'm going to actually type the real name instead of the shortcut. You can add a description. This is a spiral staircase. And then I'm going to save it. I'm not going to lock the part size because I may want to use it different in my projects. So real quickly, let's return to regular Tinkercad. Let's switch to our 3D designs. Let's create a new design. Let's start by sliding down to featured shapes. And we're going to bring out this awesome dude, the spring. I'm going to tell you to hold down shift and stretch it a long ways. I'm going to do control D to make a second one. I'm going to do control up arrow three or four times, make the second one a whole, and then I'm going to group those. Right there, you've just almost instantly created an amazing spiral slide. Are you ready for this? Switch from featured to shapes collection. And just like that, friends, you have got a sweet spiral staircase. When you bring this out, there are two things we need to fix. First, let's go back to basic shapes. Bring out a cylinder, friends. Hold down shift, shrink it a little. Type the number six and press enter. I'm going to zoom in so we can see that better, and I'm going to stretch it taller. I want it to be 100 high. And then I'm going to grab these two pieces and choose a line. I'm going to make the staircase the master, and I'm just going to say middle and middle. I'm going to make the center post a brown so it kind of fits. And check it out. That height is pretty decent. If you want it perfect, just stretch it up so it matches the one beside it. Friends, the next thing we need to add is the amazing rail. I need you to go to all shapes, and I need you to slide all the way out to page 15. It takes a lot of clicks, but it's worth it because we get this sweet little screw thread. I want you to make the numbers 19 and 21. I want you to set both of these numbers to one and one instead of one and two. I want the number of turns to stay two. I want the sides per turn to be 20. That makes it less complex. And then I want the height to be 90 and we need to change it from counterclockwise to clockwise. Notice now it lines up pretty good with our stairs. I'm gonna do a line and I'm gonna tell it center and center. Notice that one was already good. Let's click on our purple shape, find an empty spot and then lift it up so it matches that first rail. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it better. Use control down to get it to the exact height and then notice how the slope isn't perfect. We can adjust that by just stretching it higher. When you get it so that it's close and that you're happy, you can set it to a different brown so that it looks kind of nifty. And then this is one of my favorite techniques. Use the work plane on top of that post. Go back to the basic shapes. Bring out a box. Stretch that box crazy large. So it's going to cut off the parts we don't need. Check from all directions to make sure you had it all. You can see I was missing it on this side. And then I always use the black handle to stretch it so it goes the right way. Draw a rectangle that only selects the two shapes. And when I group, boom, our staircase now is supported and has a rail. I'm going to put the work plane back to the ground. And I'm going to grab those three awesome parts and group them. Don't forget, if you lose your cool colors, you can turn them on by hitting multicolor. Friends, now that you've got your staircase all built, you can shrink it down to the exact size. You can just change the height and it'll work fine. You could also hold down shift scale and adjust that as well. That's how easy it is to bring a staircase into any project you make from here on out. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.